Hello and welcome back to the TVBinges.com Pilot Roundtable, a Southgate Media Group podcast. I'm Kyle Tremblay, the editor of TVBinges.com, and I am joined as always by a fellow TV Binges writer. She's the president's daughter and she's ready to fight crime. It's Olivia Richards. Hello. Hey. You, you, are, you are taking it to the streets. And, I and am. the prisons. Yeah. Things are about to get edgy. <laughs> That's right. Oh, super edgy so because edgy. we are talking. We are talking about ABC's newest legal procedural. It's called Conviction. Olivia, what did you think? Oh my gosh, uh, I miss Agent Carter so much, and that is like the only thing that I could think when I was watching this because this that- was not anything. This was about as mediocre as you could get. Yeah, it it is sad. I mean, this, this we're talking about Agent Carter because this stars Haley Atwell, who was, of course, uh, universally praised as being terrific in Agent Carter, uh, an underwatched, the rare underwatched superhero show. Although it wasn't really about superhero. Anyway, um, it it uh, here she is starring as the former first daughter, who's a uh, of course she's a genius, as with most procedurals. Yep. Um, she's also a bad girl. Oh boy. Um, she's the kind of girl who takes her shirt off in an office. Oh my god! Um, and uh, and uh, she is tapped through some political maneuverings that we won't get into to lead the conviction integrity unit, who reviews um, potential wrongful convictions and makes recommendations and all of that. Um, so it's a sort of procedural where each week there's going to be a case, and this unit led by Haley Atwell is going to determine if they're uh, they're guilty or not. So so you, you call the generic. Um expand on that. What what's what's uh what's on the good side, what's on the bad side here? I think what really wasn't working for me was I think it's another one of those shows that's trying to be a Shonda Rhimes series. And this is on yeah. ABC and obviously Shonda Rhimes has been like keeping ABC afloat for the most part. Like she is kind of making and shaping that network. And I feel like ABC is now trying to capitalize on that as much as possible. But with this series, if you're going into it saying, we're going to be sexy and edgy, you're probably not going to be that sexy and edgy. (laughs) Like, just the entire thing felt very thin and very forced. And I think if it didn't have the benefit of having Haley Atwell as the lead, it would just have fallen more flat than it already did. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, I mean, what you said about Shonda Rhimes is, is correct. Certainly for ABC dramas, the the, the brand of ABC drama is, is very much Shonda Rhimes right now, and it really doesn't go beyond that. And so they they've made a couple attempts, all have been bad, to recreate what makes a Shonda Rhimes drama like Scandal a hit, um, and it, it's it's they end up turning into sort of bad soap operas. What what's challenging for me is. You know, I'm someone who got like really into serial, mm-hmm. the, the podcast a while back, and 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 I've sort of been following that, making a murderer, the whole thing, and the idea of a show about a conviction integrity unit, which is a real concept that actually deals with the idea of wrongful conviction, is I think kind of an um, important idea. Like it's important that these ideas are out there in the public, and I like I like the the thought of sort of wrapping that idea into a procedural. Um, because it is, it is like, it's kind of, it, it's kind of quietly revolutionary for a crime procedural to not be from the perspective of the police, you know, for, for, for in this case, in this, in this pilot, at least the police officers are generally portrayed as not the bad guys, but also not necessarily allies to this, this process. And I think that there is something true to life about, about that based on my understanding that not, not saying police are, 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 are wrongly motivated, but, but, but I think in, there's a, there's a reality where they are naturally opposed to conviction integrity units. And since this show is being told from that perspective, their police are not as, are not as much the protagonist as they are in virtually every other procedural. And that's, I think, a very interesting perspective and like a healthy perspective for a show to take. The problem is, 
the problem, as you uh, as, as you alluded to, is the whole like fake Shonda Rhymesness of all of this. Like, because that's a that's like a, a serious topic, and 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 it's I don't know whose idea it was to graft a soap opera onto all of this, but it is such an odd fit. Like, it's so weird to me that this show is not like um like like your beloved Law and Order. Yep. <laughs> Or, 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 or like CSI or like there are or, or, or any of the 500 Chicago shows on NBC. Like there are straight laced procedurals out there. I don't know why this one is like such a wacky soap opera. Like th- th- to me, the subject matter of this would call more for like a CSI Law and Order style show as opposed to a crazy wacky Shonda Rhimes show about the, the, the first daughter and all of her, you know, all, all of her baggage. Like I, I don't I don't. There's there's such incompatibility between the two sides of this show. I, I got from watching the pilot. Exactly. Like I just felt like it was like a, a weird patchwork quilt of all of these elements that just made the entire thing feel very like schizophrenic, <laughs> and it just was. Yeah. I don't know. Like I think exactly what you had said. Where if they had just played it as like a, a straight procedural, that would have been amazing. But you know, trying to add. This, oh, it's 2016, like, you know, we need this, like, sexy, edgy, like, you Mm -hmm. know, Shonda Rhimes, like, Mm -hmm. 2.0 vehicle. It just, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, you look at the Shonda Rhimes shows, uh, Grey's Anatomy. It's about a hospital, like, geez, general hospital, ER. Like, the hospital is the go-to setting for a soap opera. It is it is the soap opera location. It's the perfect it's sort of the perfect setting to create stories for a soap opera. And then you look at scandal. It's like, well, the, if, if, if hospitals, number one, the Oval Office is number two. Like the idea of politics as a soap opera is also like fertile ground. And, and then and then you look at how to get away with murder. It's like, well, she's it's like Viola Davis is a classroom teacher teaching like dramatic classes about like getting away with murder. Like, yeah, that's perfect. Like That's, that's a great subject matter. This show is about you they're trying to apply that like that tone to a show about a in this pilot about a young black man who's been in prison like six years for a crime he didn't commit it's like whoa that's not (laughs) that's not awesome that's that's real like that's that's not like a this isn't this isn't the place for the Shonda Rhimes vibe. Like this is the place for the law and order vibe. You know, this this show should have been a serious show and and Someone like Haley Atwell can certainly carry that. Like you could, you could give her whatever you wanted. I, I don't know why they have her in the like just being the sort of. She's a genius, but she's also a bad girl, and it's like ah, oh, is like that character is such a mess, and she, she's so all over the place, as you said, and it's like I don't get why the the subject matter was matched up with this tone. No, exactly, and I just. I just I really felt sad watching Haley Atwell on the show and I I think it's really sad when you have to watch a show basically only because of one actor and it was very nice seeing Emily Kenny back on the small screen Mm -hmm. like I I really liked you know seeing her in the role um I'm not sure how I feel about any of the side characters I think it was kind of a weird thing that they were trying to do with them where they were trying to fold in their backstories into everything else that was happening. And that's just another thing that made it kind of a mess, but I wanted to like the show for what it was, not just because Haley Atwell was in the lead. I know. Yeah. I mean, she's always likable. She's, you know, she's playing the center character in a procedural. And so she's got all the sort of, I mean, you know, could she have been the center character in bull and played the same character? Yeah, probably like it, it, it's sort of the, the, the cut and paste, center of a procedural television which is a genius who doesn't play by the social rules (laughs) you know i mean like that's the that's the go-to for this kind of role and i would i would have very much liked her to 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 see a different kind of character be in the lead of this Uh, you know it it just eventually it wears on you and and yeah the, the sort of manic tone and the you know the 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 whole like convoluted black backstory about her and and how she came to be in this post and i don't know why i'm supposed to care about her not wanting to have this job considering the entire show is about this job there's no dramatic tension there it's not like it's not like after episode one she's gonna be like well i quit and everyone will be like yep okay sounds good (laughs) 
Like, there's no show if you quit. I don't know why. Like, it's it, it, TV knows that it's much more fun to watch watch geniuses than it is like dumb people. And so that's you know, except, except I guess on reality TV. But but so yeah. like they got that part of it out. But it's also more fun to watch people who love their job than people who hate their job. And and so I think like it wasn't. I didn't have a, an especially good time with that character because she wasn't happy to be there. She was so reluctant. And it's like, well, that's not. That's not fun for a procedural where I know you're not going to do anything else. Like that's that's just kind of nothing. It's nothing tension. So, yeah, I mean, what you said about the side characters, they were just like they were all sort of bland and predictable, and there just wasn't a, a lot here. I mean, again, it's like it's it's I'd like I'd like, and this is blasphemy as a as a gentleman, but um, it I'd like to see Haley Atwell be in a role where she doesn't have to take off her shirt. Like, I just like, you know, like, it just, it just seems like they, they played that up in a kind of a way that made me feel icky. Like, it just, it, they're just, they were just kind of ickiness about, about her in this role that made me uncomfortable. I think I'm getting old, but I didn't. No, I didn't, and like, it's annoying. Right? And especially like, as a female viewer watching, like, you're seeing yeah. a strong woman in this role, but it's like, do we have to keep doing the thing where she, like, you have, uh, I hate using the term like strong female lead, but you have a really compelling should be complex female lead. And it seems like in this sort of, I think because she's also in like a male dominated profession, it's like, Oh, you're a woman. So you have to, like, you have to fall back on your sexuality. Yeah. You have to really play it up. And I mean, like giving her like the bad girl backstory is like playing into that, you know, like that's her first response to every situation. Like, I don't know. I mean, it just, it just, there was, there was something like a little bit icky, like about the show resorting to, that and the show kind of being built around that as opposed to just, you know, like it's funny because there are never any, I mean, most procedurals are led by men, but I can't think of a single instance where the, the male lead is like sexualized, you know, like, like Gil Grissom wasn't sexualized on CSI, (laughs) you know, or like, or it's like very, like very innocent, you know, like, like it's, but it's never like, you know, the guy is like walking out of the shower in the first episode. Like, it's never, like, I know that, that happens on soap operas and dramas all the time, but it like never happens in like a procedural, which, which kind of, I don't know, it, it just watching all these pilots kind of makes me aware of that. Cause, cause whenever a, a female is leading one of these shows, she's always sexualized. And whenever a man is leading one of these shows, he is never sexualized. And they, that just kind of gets driven home with each one that premieres. No, exactly. So this premiere did a 1.0 demo rating. Oof. With 5.4 million viewers for a Monday night premiere. Not good. Um, Do you think this one will be canceled quickly, make it through the season, or renewed for next season? I have a feeling that it's probably going to be canceled quickly, and that would be fantastic if that happened. We got to get Haley out on something better. Like we got, we got to find a, we got to find a landing spot for her. <laughs> yeah, cancel quickly for this one. Um, in fact, this one might be the first show canceled. This is this is a good candidate for that. I think just based on the critical response, based on the the pathetic audience numbers, based on like there's just no reason for this show to stay around. You know, there's just there's just nothing. So, uh, your final verdict, Olivia: thumbs up or thumbs down on conviction? This is going to be a thumbs down for me. Yeah, me too. And I'm, I'm disappointed because, because again, I think there is like, there is something to be said for this subject matter. And I wish the show wouldn't have just used it as a backdrop. I kind of wish that the show would have been more serious. And I, and I do like, like I said, like a law and order style show about this subject matter, I feel like could be really compelling um, and really interesting to at least people who seriously care about stuff or, or, you know, even people who like entertainment. Because again, CSI, isn't it, isn't it a compelling idea on paper? And it was the biggest show on TV for like six, seven years. So, you know, maybe maybe, maybe give it another go next season, ABC. <laughs> but it's we'll a try again. Now. Yeah, try again. Uh, so you've been listening to the Pilot Roundtable at TVVengeance.com and Southgate Media Group Production. You can listen to all of our episodes on iTunes where you can rate and review us. We'd appreciate that. Or find us at SouthgateMediaGroup.com. Follow Olivia on Twitter at RichardsOlivia and me on Twitter at KyleLovesTV. Till next time. 